Hey, what's up, guys? So, in this video, we will see the best customizations using Goodwork on the Samsung Galaxy A36 or the A56. Now, to do that, first of all, just open the Google Play Store, then in the search bar, just search this. Then install this app. Then tap on open. From here, just select agree and continue. Now you can do a lot of customizations using good lock. But in this video, I will show you the best customizations. Now, first of all, once you open good lock, just tap on lock star. And from here, just select download. Now, by using lock star, you can customize the lock screen of your smartphone. Now, if you tap on lock star, now on this screen, you will find the option of Log Star. Now, if you tap on it, you will find a list of customizations. Now, first of all, there is the option of App Widgets. Now, if you select App Widgets, you can add a custom widget to the lock screen of your smartphone. For an example, I will add the clock widget. Now, from here, you can increase or decrease the size of the widget. And you can place it wherever you like. Now, after app widget, you have the option of favorite apps. Now, if you enable this toggle, you will enable the favorite app list on your log screen. Now, just tap on favorite apps. And from here, just add your favorite apps to this list. And once you do that, just tap on apply. Now, just select done. Now on your lock screen, you'll find the option of your favorite app list. Now with this shortcut, you can access your favorite apps from your lock screen. Now you can align your favorite app list as you like. Now after favorite apps, you have the option of stickers. And with stickers, you can apply stickers on your lock screen. And if you tap on help text, you can customize the help text on your lock screen. You can change the color, the transparency of the text. Now, after help text, you have the option of lock screen timeout. And from here, you can increase the lock screen timeout to 10 minutes. Now, lastly, we have the option of reorder items. Now, from here, you can reorder items on your lock screen. Now, for example, if these two items are overlapping, we can reorder it from here. Just like that. Now, after you customize your lock screen using Lockstar, we can customize our Samsung phone even more using Keys Cafe. Now, first of all, just download Keys Cafe. Now, after you download Keys Cafe, you can customize the keyboard of your Samsung phone. Now, after you tap on Keys Cafe, just tap on Continue. Now, just select Allow All. And from here, just tap on Style Your Own Keyboard. Now just enable this toggle and from here you can select a custom keyboard style which you like. Now for Keys Cafe to work, we have to install Theme Park. Just tap on install. Now just go back to Keys Cafe. Now just select the keyboard style which you like and tap on apply. Now if you tap on effects, you can apply effects on key press. For an example, you can select the effect you like, and you can even select the sound for your key press. Now, after Keys Cafe, we have the option of Home Up. And with Home Up, you can customize the home screen of your phone. First of all, just download Home Up. Now, just tap on Home Up. From here, select Next and tap on Try It. Now, just enable this toggle to enable Home Up. And from here, you can customize the home screen of your phone. For an example, if you tap on Task Changer, you can customize the recent app section of your phone. Now, currently it is like this, but you can customize it even more. You can select Grid and you can change the recent app section to the grid style. You can select Vertical List. And you also have the option of slim list. Now also, if you tap on edge panel, 
from here just enable this toggle to enable the edge panel customizations now as you can see our edge panels layout is currently like this now if you select on you can change the layout of your edge panel and you can even enable the scroll effect in the recent app section in your edge panel now if you tap on home screen you can customize the home screen of your smartphone now if you tap on app icon settings now just enable this toggle to enable app icon settings from here you can increase or decrease the size of your app icons Now, if you disable this toggle, you can hide the name of your apps on your home screen. And if you disable this toggle, you will disable the name of the apps on your app drawer. Now, if you select loop pages, you can loop the pages of your home screen and your app screen. Just like that. Now, after you customize your home screen using Home Up, you can even customize your Quick Panel using Quick Start. First of all, just download Quick Start from Goodblow. Now, after you install Quick Start, just tap on it. Now, from here, just enable this toggle. Now, if you tap on Style Your Own Quick Panel, you can customize the Quick Panel of your smartphone. Now, currently, it is looking like this but you can change the color of your quick panel just like this now if you tap on the plus icon you can create your own style of your quick panel you can change the color of the font you can select a color for the background Basically, you can customize the quick panel as you like. Now, just tap on the download icon. From here, just enter a name for your custom quick panel style. Now, once you create a name for your quick panel, just tap on OK. Now, as you can see, we have customized the quick panel using this feature. Now, if you tap on clock settings, you can customize the clock in your status bar. You can show the date from here. And you can even show the AM and PM in the status bar also you have the option of show seconds now if you open the quick panel you can find the seconds counter in the quick panel now you can even change the position of the clock in your status bar now it is currently at the left side you can select right and move it to the right side and you can even select hide and you can hide the clock from your status bar and these are the best customizations using GoodLock on the Samsung Galaxy A36 or the A56. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.